Hello, and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. As always, I'm Jim Carter. I don't think that'll ever change. <laughs> so, the Beatles, you know, a lot of people love them. You know, hard not to, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, the more and more I hear people talking about them in social media and what their favorite albums are and what their, more importantly, but what their least favorite Beatles albums are, it kind of took me by surprise a little bit because uh, I definitely didn't share their views on a couple of them. So in this episode of True Audio Files, I'm going to go over what are my five favorite Beatles albums of all times. And I think one or two of them might surprise you. And one of them I think will. The other ones may or may not. So it's a tough one because, I mean, all of their albums are great. I tend to lean towards the newer stuff over the old, older, early Beatles stuff, uh, but I can definitely see the attraction and fascination for that earlier stuff. So, and any of you who've seen some of my previous videos probably already know one or two of my uh, of my favorites here. So those may not come as too much of a surprise to you. So, so let's get started here today, and we'll go with one which is probably on most Beatles fans' top five, and that is Revolver. You know, such a great album, you know, uh, Good Day Sunshine and, um, you know, Got to Get You Into My Life, Tomorrow Never Knows. I mean, just a lot of great uh, great songs on this and it's kind of the beginning, sort of kind of the beginning of their experimental, you know, for lack of a better term, phase and just uh, really awesome. And this particular one is a early German pressing. It's stereo. Uh, would have preferred probably to get a German mono just because the stereo back in the revolver days when they released those they really were more They were more of a situation where you know When there was basically nothing in the center hardly there's you know You've got vocals and maybe a guitar in the left channel and then drums and a couple more vocals and a bass and the, the, the left channel or whatnot and uh, but anyway That is one of my favorites and I, I don't think I said this earlier, but these are in no particular order. Um, as I've mentioned, if you saw my jazz uh, five favorites, uh, it's just too hard for me to say which one is my favorite just because they're all so great, number one. But number two, it, my depending on my mood, it'll change on which one's my favorite. So, all right, so let's go with another one that which is probably a pretty obvious one and probably again in most Beatles fans top five. And that is Sgt. Pepper. Just an amazing album. I can't even imagine how many minds were blown when this one first came up because it was just so out there in comparison to a lot of the other things out there besides maybe Pet Sounds. But uh, anyway, this is the remix, which uh, polarized a lot of people. I personally love most of the remixes, or I should say this. I love all the remixes. I actually prefer the remixes to the original stereos in most of the cases, not all. And you may stay tuned. You'll maybe you'll see uh, my my take on Let It Be's uh, remix, which just came out. So, anyway, just you know, this was probably this may have been my first rock record that I ever owned before. You know, uh, after I had all those children's, you know, Sesame Street and Disney records, and just blew me away. It was just so awesome and really. Uh, cemented my love for the the Beatles uh, by getting that record, so and made me want to get more and more of them, and I did. <laughs> All right, now we're starting to maybe get into the weeds a little bit, but not, probably not too much on this one. And that is the White Album. Uh, there are times where this is definitely my favorite, and there are times where you know I just I'm not in the mood to listen to it, but. It certainly is in my top five without hesitation, I can say that. Uh, this particular one, I believe, is an early uh, stereo U.S. pressing. You could see by the serial number that it's an early pressing. And, uh, you know, not my best version of it. I mean, I've got the Mobile Fidelity uh, one, which is my favorite of the old mix. And then I also obviously have the new stereo remixes, which I really... Uh, find to be awesome on those so those are definitely going to be that's going to be my go-to but the mobile fidelity if you want the original mix is definitely my favorite the ones that and i i have that all right so before i get to the controversial one i'll get to 
the one that, uh, again, I think if you were asking most Beatles fans their top five, uh, I think a lot of them, if not all of them, would choose this one as well. And that is Abbey Road. And this is uh, an early Japanese pressing. I want to say it's like a 73 or maybe even a little earlier. Uh, definitely an awesome sounding version. This one actually rivals my, uh, my next favorite, which is the Mobile Fidelity version. This is the only album that where of the remixed albums that I didn't like the remixed version as much as the original. I just think the original was so good already and it was really, really hard to top it. And uh, they didn't, <laughs> in my opinion. Still sounds really good. It probably has a little bit better clarity in some instances. I'm just not a, a fam as a big of a fan of some of the mix and some of the EQ choices that they made on, on this one, but still sounds phenomenal. But this one and the Mobile Fidelity are my go-to versions when I want to listen to it on record. So Okay, so here comes the controversial one. Uh, this one kind of surprised me a little bit when I first started hearing how people just disliked it so much because it's easily, indisputably, in my opinion, in my top five, maybe even my top four. And it really confused me as to why that so many people hated, I think hate's a strong word, but disliked this album or was one of their least favorite Beatles albums and they don't listen to it much. And that is Let It Be. Um, just some just some phenomenal songs. I mean, uh, Across the Universe, uh, Let It Be, I Got a Feeling is actually one of my favorite Beatles songs. Long and Winding Road and Get Back. I mean, they're just phenomenal songs. I mean, yeah, there's maybe a dud or two on here, but and dud is is putting too strong of a, a term on it because I don't think any of them are bad. They're just maybe not as good as the ones I rambled off. But uh, this one, as you can see, it's pretty obvious, is a Japanese pressing. And similar to what I was saying about the Mobile Fidelity uh, in, or and I should say the Abbey Road, the Mobile Fidelity and this uh, Japanese pressing are really, really close in terms of sound quality, uh, and really hard for me to pick which one I like better. Uh, I have not, as of recording this, uh, I had not have not received the my records my of the new remix for Let It Be. I got the CDs, which are right here. I got the box set that has the CDs, but. The biggest reason for me to get this one is the Blu-ray that has the high-resolution digital and the surround sound versions. But uh, still waiting for the records. I got them on Pop Market uh, and probably wouldn't have bought them if I weren't able to get such a great deal there. I think with shipping, well, free shipping, but with tax, I think I paid like $124 for them. For And it's far away the cheapest I've ever seen them. So I couldn't resist that because, as you can see, it's one of my top five, five favorite Beatles albums and one of my favorite albums of all times that I listened to quite a bit. So I really felt I, based on past track record of liking a lot of the remixes, I, I wanted to splurge and get that box set. And every early indication for, to me uh, tells me that this one might be one of the best remixes out there just because I even have... My f sound engineer friends liking the remixes, and they generally hate them. So it's sounding like it could be a good set. So we'll find out, and who knows, maybe my Let It Be uh, shootout, sound quality shootout, will be uh, put out before this comes out. So we'll see. But anyway, that is my top five Beatles albums of all times. And I say of all times, it's not like they're making new ones. But uh, <laughs> my top five Beatles albums. Would love to hear your comments on it. Would love to hear your top five favorite Beatles albums. My guess is most of you will probably have different ones, especially because of Let It Be. But I uh, really want to hear your take. Uh, leave your comments below. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. And you know, subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw as well. Uh, getting close to the thousand people, a uh, thousand subscribers, and loving that. And very excited to hit that mark. Um, but also... You know, check out my social media pages, which I've got linked down below. Uh, that's everything I've got for this episode. I hope you are having a great day, and I hope you continue to have a great day. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot.